Hello, Richard Calderon with The Paint Group here. I get asked by customers who are brand new to Microsoft Teams, now that I've moved all my files over into Teams, is there a simple way that I can still see all those files and folders inside of Windows File Explorer? Because maybe that's just how I'm accustomed to working with my files. I've come from a network file share background or storing all my files on my desktop, and now I moved them into Teams, which is really moving them into SharePoint. And I just want to know, do I have to go into Teams and go into the Files tab, or do I have to go into SharePoint to be able to see them? Is there still a simple way that I can see them in Windows File Explorer? And the answer is you absolutely can, and I'm going to show that to you now. So in Microsoft Teams, you remember that Channels is where the work gets done. Channels is how you can organize conversations, content, and apps centered around a topic or a project or anything really that you want to organize your team around. So in this case, I've got a Contoso Finance team. It comes with one general default channel, it's called general, and then a series of custom standard channels. So every single one of these channels is going to have a files tab. And this is where I can share and store files that are specific to this channel. And so again, every single one of these channels is gonna have a files tab where you will see and can store files specific to that channel. So inside of the channel in this toolbar here, one of the options you have is to sync. So if I chose to sync, it is going to fire up the OneDrive client on my Windows 10 device. And if I've never signed into it before, I am gonna to have to at least sign in the very first time to get this going. And um, hopefully you can just key in your password and then choose the default settings here to go ahead and get that configured for the first time. And once you do that, what you'll see is in the left-hand side in File Explorer, you're gonna have this little special kind of smart folder that typically is gonna be the name of your organization or whatever the name of your Microsoft 365 tenant is. And then inside that now, you'll see that there is a folder that is the files for the channel that I've just synchronized. So Contoso Finance Budget Analysis are the files and folders in the Budget Analysis channel of the Contoso Finance team, okay? So I can do that if I wanted and then just choose other channels and do the same process. Go to Files, choose Sync. Now that I've already signed into OneDrive, it doesn't prompt me again, it just does this little strange flash. But if I go back to File Explorer, you'll see now that I have two folders. I have Budget Analysis and I have Finance Review. So again, I can very easily synchronize at a channel by channel level every single one of these. So the question I get asked is, well, what if my team has 25 channels? Do I have to go into every single channel and synchronize every single one of them, which is now gonna show me 25 different folders here inside of File Explorer? And the answer is you certainly don't. There is an easier and maybe better way to do this. The trick is you actually have to go into SharePoint to be able to do this all at one time. And so there's a couple of ways that you can get to SharePoint from your team. One way is if you're already on a channel and you click on the Files tab, then in the same ribbon where you had the Sync option, you'll see on the far right hand side here an option that says Open in SharePoint. And so you can just click on Open in SharePoint. What that's going to do is open your default web browser to the SharePoint site that's connected to that team. So now that you're here, you'll see that I'm directly in the finance review channel folder. The trick is you wanna go up a level. So go up to the documents, which is the root level of this document library. And now you'll see that there are folders for all of the channels in this team. Audit, budget analysis, finance review, general, governance and compliance. Just like on this here, you see general audits, budget analysis, finance review, and governance and compliance. So again, every single one of these folders is a one-to-one -one relationship to those channels inside of Teams. So now that I'm here, you'll see that there's a ribbon or toolbar inside of SharePoint that has a very similar sync button. And so now from here, you wanna choose sync because it's coming from your web browser, you're likely gonna get this little prompt that says it's trying to open Microsoft OneDrive. And you can either check this box to avoid that prompt in the future, or you can just simply click open. And so again, because I've already signed into OneDrive, I get this strange little flash that occurs and I kind of wonder, well, what happened now? So again, I can just close that little box, go back to File Explorer. 
And then now what you'll see inside of File Explorer is in addition to the two channel level folders that I already synchronized before, there's a folder here that says Contoso Finance Documents. So the Contoso Finance Documents folder now, as you can see, contains all of the files folders, all of the channel folders rather, across uh, the entire team. So now I can just easily go in and out of any of these folders at one time in one view and not have to have them all separated in that way, okay? So a pretty nice way to be able to just say, I wanna just see all of the files and folders for a team that I belong to in File Explorer without necessarily having to synchronize individual channels, okay? Now there is a subtle nuance to this in relation to private channels. So let me just give you another example of a separate team and show you how to do this. So if I'm in the Markgate project team, for example, um, let's say again, I know this new trick now where I can just synchronize all of the folders and files across all these channels in one view to File Explorer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I mentioned earlier that there's a couple of ways that you can get to the SharePoint site for a team, one of which is to go to the Files tab first. Another way is you can just simply click on any of these channels and then from here in the very far right hand side of the screen where you have the dot 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 choose more options and then at the bottom you see open in sharepoint so again that's going to do exactly what you expect it opens up the sharepoint site that's connected to this team and so as we said before the trick here is to go up one level so that you're at the root of the documents library and then again here's where you're going to see almost all of the folders for the channels and i say almost because you won't see the private channels here. Any files that are being stored in a private channel in Teams are not gonna be stored in this primary SharePoint site. They're actually going to be stored in a separate SharePoint site collection per each private channel. So let's come back to that here in just a moment. But here again, I've got all of these files and folders. I can then go choose sync. When I select sync, I'm gonna choose open again here. I get this strange little flash that occurs. I can close that, go back to my Windows File Explorer, and now in my Contoso Smart folder here, you'll see, sure enough, there is the Mark 8 Project Team Documents folder. I can double click on it, and then there you go. There are all of those same folders here, the same ones that I see here, I now see here in File Explorer, okay? So that makes it easy. Again, that's something that just suits my workflow to be able to easily get to all my folders and files in Windows File Explorer, then you can very easily have them here instead of having to go into Teams or go into SharePoint to get them. So I mentioned earlier that there's a nuance when it comes to private channels. That's the fact that private channels actually have their own separate SharePoint site collection. So in the Mark 8 project team, you see that I have one private channel here for project leads. So this is a case where you will have no choice but if you, if you need to see those files and folders in File Explorer, you will have no choice but to synchronize these at a private channel level. So in this case, again, I'm gonna select the private project leads channel. I'm gonna go the simple way, which is to go to the far right, dot, 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 choose open in SharePoint. This is gonna open the separate site collection that is specifically for this project leads private channel here. So the only folders, the only files that I will see here in this case are specific to this channel. So truth is, it doesn't really matter if I go up a level here or not. These are just only going to be the files and folders for this particular channel. But just to keep things consistent, I will. I'll go up to the Documents folder, click on Sync. Again, I'm going to choose Open, and then I get that little flash. But then when I go back to File Explorer and I look inside of my Smart Folder, I'm gonna see that I have another folder here for Mark 8 Project Team Project Lead Documents, which again, these are the documents that are just specifically in that private channel, okay? So hopefully this is something that can be useful to some of you who again are, are just trying to connect the dots between the old way that I used to do things, working in File Explorer, to the new way of doing things now that I'm in Teams and SharePoint. There is a way that you can, again, be able to see all those files in File Explorer in one time. So hopefully you found this useful, and um, I appreciate the time. And again, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.